is 13 years old and just about to graduate from eighth grade. Great student, um, highly involved in school, loves to dance. Martez is almost she to like go with around here or like you know your favorite car. Everyone wants to have their time and turn with him. So he's so perfect. <laughs> he's so perfect. He's so fun to be around. Um, Maya was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia um, at age 11 on October 12th, 2012. We were very lucky there was an oncologist who happened to be there that day. Was actually very involved with LLS, Dr. Rychak, who came in and talked to her and um, told her, you know, you're gonna, this is going to be okay, we're going to take care of you. And Maya actually looked at her and said, you know what, I'm okay, I feel safe here. And I know that I'm in the right place and I know I'm going to be okay. And that's what she said. Five minutes after, as a an 11 year old being told that she has cancer and leukemia. And then her next question was if her hair, if she was gonna lose her hair. <laughs> Martez was diagnosed April 17th, 2009. I never once like was able to like get in touch with any emotion because everything had to go really fast. So I never wanted to be at the hospital because I hated seeing him like that. I never wanted to be at home because everything reminded me of him. It's, it's soul crushing, you know? It, it, it will make you not even see where you can. How could you go past this? If, if this happens, if the worst was to happen, how do I get past it? How can I continue to, you know what I'm saying, get up every day and take care of responsibilities if I lost a child, you know? You went from seeing your child to being active and very involved to not being able to do these things. It was very frustrating for her and difficult as a parent to see your child going through that. I mean, it's not a normal childhood. I'm being in the hospital for weeks at a time. Um, Martez was so young, so I believe he just thought every child went through this. I don't think he thought it was anything different. He ended his treatment in July of 2012, and he's doing fine. And I finished maintenance on January 31st, which I was really happy about. Going through this treatment, um, you start to feel defined by the cancer. And as you get towards the end of treatment, you start to move forward and, and figure out what now? Do I return to a life that really it hasn't been normal for several years? An LLS is provided with that opportunity to have a voice on what it's like to be a kid going through treatment. I always say, which may sound so crazy to some people, but I always say that I would never take back him having cancer if I could have the same child. His outlook on life is, has been changed due to the things he went through. He appears to be so much more mature than he really is. On behalf of Martez and our entire family, we would like to say a great thank you to everyone a part of LLS. Thank you so much for all the hard work and time you have put in to raising funds for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Thank you for supporting me and advocates like me.